Greetings, everyone. My name is Apostle Andre Palmer, and this is my lovely wife, Prophetess Joyce Palmer, and we are the senior leaders of Bethel Christian Restoration Center located in the city of Benton Harbor, Michigan, where it is our mission to advance the kingdom of God by creating a culture that engages, equips, and empowers all believers. That's right, the triple E effect, engage, equip, and empower. We are excited to have family members like you in helping us to build God's kingdom. Thank you for joining us at Bethel CRC. We rolling, we're live. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand, praise. Come on, let's bless him and give him honor. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. We want to greet everyone that's here today and greet everyone on our live stream audiences. And um, we're just so grateful and thankful for another Sunday worship experience. If you're happy that God has, hallelujah, allowed you to be here, why don't you just clap your hands and give him a praise? Come on. Come on. Let's just honor him and thank him for his goodness and his mercy. His mercy is everlasting. Amen. We thank him for just being God. Look at somebody and say, God is God all by himself. Amen. He's God all by himself. He don't need a co-signer. He don't need another person in his corner. Amen. To prop him up and to give him credence. But let me tell you something that does work. He understands, we, we, and we must understand that God loves worshipers. He loves praisers. Come on. Come on. How many praisers do I have in the house today? How many worshipers do I have in the house today? Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, let's come to the altar for prayer. We're going to open this service up with prayer. We're going to pray down here. Come on. Hallelujah. Pray down here with your brothers and your sisters and everybody that's on live that's following us, Facebook and on YouTube. We're together as one unit today. I'm going to ask Deacon, to, Deacon Love to cover the door as we're praying today. I want everybody, hallelujah, to come and just pray with us down here at the altar. Let's consecrate this altar for word and for the worship that's going to go for the lives that are going to be changed, the souls that are going to be touched. Come on, we need a move of God today. How many know we need a move of God today? Oh, y'all don't need a move of God. And so everything is going good. Everything is wonderful and great. Hallelujah. If nothing else, we need a financial breakthrough. If nothing else, many of us, we need, we need healing in our bodies. We need things to happen for us. And so as we pray together, I want you to just think about those things. Get it in your mind. Get it in your heart. Get it in your spirit that you're going to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth today. So let's go before the throne of grace. As we bow our heads today, let's remember the city of Benton Harbor. Remember those that are facing bereavement and those who are going through situations and circumstances with their loved ones. We just, if we start to call names, I know we're going to mess up. We're going to forget somebody. But I just want you to remember those that are close to you and connected to you and those that you know need prayer this morning. Those that are absent from this experience of worship those who are just seem to be sluggish and in a backslidden state we just want to pray for them today hallelujah to god the faces that you don't see hallelujah sometimes there's nothing wrong but other times there's something dire happening so we need to offer our prayers to them for them today as we go before the lord in prayer how many intercessory prayer warriors do i have in the house today Come on, if you're an intercessor, you know how to intercede. You know how to go into your prayer language. You know how to believe God in faith and just call on his holy name. Y'all ready to go? Let's bow our heads. Father, we thank you for your mercy and your grace. 
honor you for all that you are doing in our lives. We thank you because you are God and you are God alone. Hallelujah. There's no God like Jehovah. And we decree and declare it today that as we are in this place, Lord, as we are worshiping you in spirit and in truth, that God, you would begin to descend from on high, that your presence would be in this place. Let the cloud of glory rest upon Bethel Christian Restoration Center, but let it rest in the lives and on the lives of your people today. Father, we thank you for every gift that you have given us, the gift of life, the gift of prayer, the gift of we're allowing us, hallelujah, to be around gifted people, allowing us to experience the gifts that you have released in the on the body of Christ for such a time as this. Father, we are like the sons and daughters of Issachar. We know the time and we know what we ought to do. And this is the time when we need to be radical. This is the time when we need to be boastful. This is the time where we need to brag on our God because, God, you have been so good to us that we have no other choice but to give you worship. We have no other choice but to give you praise. We have no other choice but to come before you with thanksgiving. And so we enter your gates with thanksgiving today. Lord, we enter your courts with praise. We are thankful for all that you are going to do. And God, we just give you honor and glory and praise. Father, now we come against the spirit, hallelujah, of division. We come against and we break strongholds in this atmosphere. We come against spirits that don't want to align themselves with the perfect and sovereign will of God. Father, we come against spirits, hallelujah, of lust, spirits of perversion. We break addiction right now in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of the Lord that there is, hallelujah, deliverance in this house. That there is breakthrough on every hand. That God, you would touch our finances and that you would move by your spirit. And Father, our aim and goal today is that somebody would be saved. Somebody would give their heart to you today. Somebody would say, what must I do to be saved? I'm tired of the situation that I'm in. I'm tired of where I am in life. It's time for a new thing. Come on, double believe it today it's time for a new thing if you believe a new thing can happen to you why don't you just shout a new thing come on shout a new thing hallelujah lord we give you honor by faith we speak we decree we declare healing right now healing in our families healing with our brothers and our sisters healing what the doctor does or not does not know god you know hallelujah you know how to fix it you know how to get it straight you know how to make all things well and so lord we trust you today for all things we will believe you god and take you at your word because your word is a lamp unto our feet and it is certainly a light unto our path lord illuminate us through your word Touch these young people today, Lord, as they praise you and as they worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, have your way. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Why don't you look at somebody as you go back to your seat and just tell them, somebody prayed for me. Come on, tell somebody else, somebody prayed for me. Had me on their mind took the time and prayed for me hallelujah took the time and prayed for me hallelujah so God is good to us we honor him we thank him for his goodness hallelujah we want to honor all of our leaders that are here today we want to make sure we give honor to Pastor John and Lady Sharon Hunt, hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Thank God for them today. 
Thank God for the deacons. Thank God for the men. Thank God for the musicians. Thank God. Look at somebody and say, thank God for the mothers today. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to have a scripture praise by Minister Terry Hagar. Let's stand before the Lord in honor and in reverence of his word. And then we're going to go right into praise and worship. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. I'm going to read to you uh, Psalms 122. And I'm coming from the Message Bible. And it says, When they said, Let's go to the house of God, my heart leaped for joy. And now we're here, O Jerusalem, inside Jerusalem walls. Jerusalem, well-built city, built as a place for worship. The city to which the tribes of sin, all God's, all God's tribes go up to worship, to give thanks to the name of God. This is what it means to be Israel. Throne, thrones for righteous judgments are set there. Famous David thrones. Pray for Jerusalem. Pray for Jerusalem's peace. Prosperity to all you Jerusalem lovers, friendly insiders, get alone, hostile outsiders, keep your distance. For the sake of my family and friends, I say again, live in peace. For the sake of the house of our God, God, I, I'll do my very best for you. May the Lord have a blessing to the hearing and the reading of his word. Amen. Thank you, Minister Terry. Hallelujah. Y'all ready for worship today? How many came fired up knowing that you're going to offer your praises to God today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We sing glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The praise team at this time. Come on, y'all help us today. Amen. How, how many come to worship God on today? Hallelujah. I said, how many come to worship him on today? Hallelujah. How many come to offer our worship up to him on today? Hallelujah. We say, you, Lord, are worthy. Hallelujah. So we offer our worship to you. Hallelujah. You, Lord, you are worthy. And no one can worship you for me. For all the things you've done for me. Here's my worship, all of my worship, receive my worship, all of my worship, here's my worship, all of my worship, receive my worship, all of my worship. Here's my worship, Lord. 
Come on and bless him if he's worthy. Hallelujah. Come on and bless him if he's worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in our response to him for all of his goodness and his mercy. Hallelujah. 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 Has he rescued anybody in the house on today? We're a little quiet today, but has he rescued anybody on the house on today? Hallelujah. We were all wretched. Hallelujah. Dying in our sins. Hallelujah. But one day he reached down and he touched us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of us, he saved our souls. Hallelujah. Some of us, he wants to save our souls. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if you have an open heart to him, hallelujah, he'll rescue you if you want to be rescued. Hallelujah. But first you got to know you need to be rescued. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm always in need of a rescue from Jesus. Hallelujah. Because I realize I can do nothing on my own. Hallelujah. And without him, I am nothing and I would fail. Hallelujah. testimony on today you have a rescue you have rescued my life you have rescued you have rescued my life and i'm never going back you have rescued you have rescued my life you have a rescue you have rescued my life and I'm never going back. My response is, my response is, hallelujah, hallelujah. You're my redeemer, hallelujah, hallelujah.
have that testimony on today. Hallelujah. He's rescued my life. Hallelujah. And I'm never going back. Hallelujah. Go back to what? Hallelujah. Go back to sin and shame. Hallelujah. Go back to a dying world. Hallelujah. Go back to when I don't even know what tomorrow brings. But because I serve a God, hallelujah, who knows all and sees all, I'm moving forward with him. Hallelujah. Because he rescued me. Hallelujah. And I'm never going back. Hallelujah. I'll forever worship him. Hallelujah. I'll forever give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll forever glorify his name. Hallelujah. I'll forever give him praise when it's time to give him praise. Hallelujah. Even when I'm sick in my body, I've learned that I got to worship him through it all. Hallelujah. Even when I don't feel like worshiping, I've learned that I got to worship him through it all. Hallelujah. Even when things are going bad in my life, I've learned that I got to worship him through it all. Because he is my God. He is my Savior. Hallelujah. He is the only one who can lift me up. Hallelujah. He's our man. Hallelujah. He's our wonderful Savior. He's the God of our salvation. Hallelujah. He's King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Hallelujah. Who wouldn't serve a God who loves us? Hallelujah. Who's our Father? Hallelujah. Who's our King? Hallelujah. Who's coming for us again? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said he would not leave us comfortless. Hallelujah. He's our comforter.
needs to know that on today. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Jeremiah, don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Dick and Jesse, don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Hallelujah. 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 He won't give up on you. He won't give up on you. So don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. Why? He's able. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Come on and bless the Lord in this house. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Come on. Let's begin to offer up our worship to him. Let's begin to thank him for his goodness and his mercy. Hallelujah. Some of you all need to let go and let God have his way. Hallelujah. He's worthy from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. He's worthy. Come on. Hallelujah. You didn't get all dressed up, look cute today. You came to worship the Lord. Come on. And let's just magnify the God of our salvation. Do I have any worshipers in this place? He's worthy. He's worthy. Why don't somebody say he's worthy? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know about you, but God is in this place. And whatever you need, you can just reach up and grab it. You can just reach up and have it. Hallelujah because the spirit of the Lord is in this house glory 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 come on glory y'all hold it back glory 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 hallelujah glory to God He's worthy. He's worthy. Come on. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Worthy. Look at somebody and say, He's worthy. Nobody like our God. Hallelujah. You can sit on God. Sit there and act like God ain't been good to you. But I need some praisers today. I need some worshipers today. I need some folk who will be radical, who just go beyond 
you've been hallelujah you've done this and done that now let's press beyond where you have been and get in his presence hallelujah come on he's worthy he's worthy come on let's just go worthy up in the atmosphere worthy of the praise he's worthy of the honor come on worthy of the worship he's worthy worthy hallelujah when you think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for you your soul ought to cry out hallelujah come on hallelujah Come on, there comes a place where you just don't care what people think about you. You just got to say hallelujah. Come on, one more hallelujah folk here. Hallelujah. God is worthy of all the praise. Come on. Of all the worship. Come on, somebody get out of your seat and just begin to move around this place. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Come on, move, move. Now, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you to get up and move. Move around in here. And let's just see what God will do. Hallelujah. Let's just see what God will take you. Let's just see what God wants to, how God wants to do it. Hallelujah, yeah. Hallelujah. Our God is a God of movement. Our God is a God of movement. Yeah. Our God is a God of movement. Maybe you don't have any rhythm to dance, but you can leap, you can jump for joy. You can do something in his presence because he's so good. Come on, you might as well have a little church up in here. I'm blessed. Come on, tell them I'm blessed. They don't want to have no church today. I thought y'all was a sanctified church. I thought this was a holy church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thought this was a praising church a worshiping church come on i thought this was a radical church i thought this was a double stumping church i thought this was the kind of church where i can get my breakthrough where i can get my deliverance where i can lift up my praise and lift up my worship Hallelujah. High five somebody and say, I'm going to get my breakthrough. It ain't over yet. 
Come on, high five three people and just tell them, I'm going to get my breakthrough. It ain't over yet. Come on, come on. Go to three people and just tell them, I'm going to get my breakthrough. It's not over yet. The enemy tried to bury you. The enemy tried to shut you down. Hallelujah. But God said, no, it will not work. Hallelujah. He tried to put the final nail in your coffin, but you're still here. Hallelujah. Praising God. You're clothed and in your right mind. You ain't lost a step. Hallelujah. How many know about the three, three Hebrew boys going into a fiery furnace? Can you imagine going into a fiery furnace and not having anything burned on you? Amen. Some of y'all have been through some fiery tests, some fiery trials. And the fire did not consume you. shuffling your feet. presence of an almighty God and just testify for the things that he has done his mercy is everlasting how many honestly could say you could have been dead sleeping in your grave but God would not allow you to die he would not allow you to quit 
I don't know about you, but there has been a, a spirit of suicide that has been plaguing our community. But God won't let you die. I've seen in the spirit realm where I've seen young people taking pills and trying to end their lives and overdosing on drugs. Some of that stuff was on purpose because they no longer wanted to live. They no longer had the desire to live. Hallelujah. But God knows what he's doing. And if you want to be delivered, God will deliver you today. Not tomorrow, today. So to God be the glory to God be the glory to God, to God. be the glory for the Y'all know this. This blood, blood he has saved me with his power. He has raised me to Sing it one more time. To God be the glory. Koshanda la bahota la bohoshe. Kota la bahete le bohora manda la bohoshe. Think back over your life. Handa la base tosha. Kibosha mando kora basete. Emato ora baseto sha Iya dala bahora masete Anda ya 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 dala bahasheto Kimando shabarose ya Be the glory to God Be To God be the glory for the things He has done.
you love him, just give him a wave offering. Just give him a wave offering. that same atmosphere, keep that same attitude of worship as we bring up Pastor John Hunt. So happy to have him back in the house. Happy to have Lady Sharon back in the house. It's offering time. That does not mean that we stop worshiping. Offering is a part of the worship. the microphone. church stuff. This has got to be from your heart where it's all where the rubber meets the road. Amen. Where it comes down where all ten toes are pointed down. Yes. If you love the Lord, ain't listen, if you don't love the Lord, you might as well go on out because you're, you're playing church. We don't play church. Amen. And more than playing church, it's about relationship with God. Right. If you haven't made up your mind in terms of relationship with God, man, you just, you're wasting your time. Here, you know what? When I was going to make my approach up here, I said, listen, there was a scripture that David said, amen, to encourage himself. He said, oh soul, why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God. How many lost their hope in God? How many done lost their hope in God? How many done lost? I ain't hear nothing out there. How many lost their hope in God? You lost, you lose, we lose our hope. Let me jump in there. We lose our hope in God simply because sometimes God don't show up when we want to show up. Let's be honest with that. And you got petitions before the Lord, and Lord ain't answer, amen. You just throw the petitions over the fence, and when God answers, you know you somewhere. You're supposed to be, uh, we, there's some stores in, in, in Jersey called Pathmark and Shop and ShopRite. You all in Pathmark can't shop right. You understand that? You all in Pathmark can't shop right. And so if our approach to God has, has to be, is, is it such that we come to church and go through the motions, you know what? That's all we get. But I'm of this conviction, having been gone and on a sabbatical, but have been gone for four months, I, the Lord has put in my spirit, listen, when he went in the garden, the garden of Gethsemane and he was praying and before he's getting ready to go to the cross, he went three times, amen, and the disciples were with him and he asked him, can you just pray with me one hour? Can you pray with me just one hour? And they were sleep. I imagine, amen, it was, I don't know what time it was anyway, but sometimes we get sleepy, amen, you don't want to do nothing. Let's be honest, let's keep that 100. And they couldn't go with God. And then you know what? He went in the first time and asked when he came back out and went back in. And 
Then when he went back in, amen, the second or third time, he said he prayed more earnestly. You know what we got to do in this season? You got to pray more earnestly. Your approach to God has to be one in earnest. And I know we pray, and sometimes we give the sweet prayer. We give the, you know, just the, that, you know, that the, the, serial, the serial prayer. You know, you know, the, the, the tweet and kind of prayer. You know what I'm saying? But I'm talking about, listen, Lord, if you don't come up, Lord, if you don't show up now, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Now, you probably don't want to hear this, but you know what? If you're going through the motion and God ain't showed up, you've got to put, you've got to put the onus on the Lord to the point that, Lord, your word is out there. And you said the word, your word is going out of your mouth and it will not return it to you void, but it will accomplish it until you sin it. And listen, it's easy for heaven and earth to pass away than this word to fail. How many believe that? I'm preaching, I, I, I'm, I'm speaking harder than y'all saying amen. Is that all right? Listen, I'm glad to be, be back with the, in the house of the Lord. But listen, I just, it is an admonishment. It is an admonishment to the people of God. It is an admonishment to the people of God. Listen, if we're going to be what we're supposed to be in God, you've got to go with it like you want it. Paul even talked about, listen, those who run the race, they got to run the race that they might finish in first place. And so you got to run like you want to get it. And, listen, and then one other thing. There was a, it was a situation in the Bible. God gave a parable in the Bible where, you know, this woman had come to, come to this particular king and asked this king if he could do this, um, petition him to, to intervene for her on a situation. And this king didn't want to do it. He said, I don't fear your God, neither you. But she kept petitioning the king, kept petitioning him. And she said, he came back, he said, listen, I'm going to give you this simply not because of, you, because of your God, because you worry me so. Sometimes you got to worry the Lord. Come on now. Okay, if you don't want it, then don't go get it. But you got to worry the Lord to the point to listen. You've been, you, listen, ask him the acronym, A-S-A-S-K, ask, ask, and it shall be given. Seek, you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. Now, God's word is going out of his mouth. Now, you know what? I just don't believe. Now, this is me. I don't believe nobody's going to get before the Lord and say, Now, Lord, you did this and did this, but you didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's just me. But God's word is going out, especially, alone, uh, especially if, he's, if he's issued a word. Amen? Okay, well, listen, I'm, I'm just glad to be back in the house of God. You know what? And Yep, thank you. And you know what? We ain't been down in Georgia. I've been on a mission. I want my, my family saved. Is that all right? I want my family saved. And you know what? My daughters were, and sons were born and raised in holiness. You know what? But you know what? They, ain't just, kinda, they just kind of deviated the path in love. And so listen, we don't want them out there. Listen, we're trying to go to heaven, shake and shout. And listen, my babies ain't here. I want my babies here. So my grandson, my grandson was going in one direction. God has turned his heart in 180 degrees into another direction. I'm not talking about 360. That's a complete circle. But 180 degrees in another direction. Now he's praying. Don't mind having to make him get up and go and worship the Lord. He's in his, he's in his word. Baptized. Love the Lord. I didn't put it on him. Listen, there's some, there's some things that says that the scripture says, listen, flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you when he's talking to me to talk to his disciples. There's certain things that happen in your life that you know somebody didn't tell you. The Lord has moved on your heart. Flesh and blood didn't reveal you and get you in the place that you need to be. You know it was nothing but the Lord. How many have that experience? Nobody had that experience? Hello, lights. Hello, wall. Listen, we thank and praise God for you here. Listen, I mean, I'm, I'm coming back, and it ain't like we've been down there hiding, you know, and, and can I give you this? Y'all probably won't. Y'all probably appreciate this one. Pass him all right? Okay, well, listen. Some people's mindsets are such that, well, they got away, and maybe, you know, I'm, I'm not saying y'all think this, but hey, this is a thought. They down there, and they been let their hair down. I ain't got no hair to let down. And they're kicking it, laying low and kicking it, you know, and I'm, no. You know what? I love the Lord. And whether it's here or whether it's in Georgia, whether it's in New Jersey, whether it's in New York, wherever it might be fine. I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm sold out. I'm in it to win it. I'm in it to win it. You got to be in it to win it too. You got to be in it to win it. If not, then you know you're just going through the motion. Hello, y'all out there? Listen, John Jr., how will you come back here running and fussing and stuff? I ain't fussing. I love y'all. I love you. But do you know what the clarion call for the saints of God is this? In the time that we're living in, we got to go get it like we need it. We got to go get it like we want it. 
Hello? All right, listen, God bless you. It's offering time. Can I say that? It's offering time. Certainly, thank and praise God, amen, for you, you and you. God bless the young people, amen. So those are seeds that are being planted in them right now. And subsequently, you know what, they'll germinate and, 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 and get into the place that they need to be, amen, in the place of God, amen. So we thank and praise God for the young people and those that are teaching them, amen, the word of God, planting seeds. Come on, let's, let's bless the Lord for that. You know, certainly, I mean, there was, a, there was a noted psychiatrist that said this. He said, listen, give me 100, give me 100 people, 100 kids, and I'll put into them what you want, and I can make them out what you want. So because by stimulus and response, they can create, amen, the condition, the circumstances to make them what they want to be. God bless you. I know you want to sit down, bro. <laughs> Trying to run your mouth. All right, man. Put this in your hand. Put that in your hand right there so you can pull my coach here. Amen. Listen, we just thank and praise God, amen, for you, amen. It's offering time. It's offering time. So at this time, I want to ask you to stand, please. Please stand. We're going to pray the offertorial prayer. Certainly, God has been good to you. He's been good to us. Sharon, God bless you. God's been good to Sharon. Yeah. I'm going to give her testimony while she's going back to the offering. God's been good to her. She's blessing her. Amen. And certainly, amen. She had a little sick bout, amen, but she, we all trying to get through it. She was sneezing and coughing. Now I'm sneezing and coughing. But that's love, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm going to pray the offertorial prayer, amen, and then we're going to uh, go on the further, ask that you follow the instructions of the usher. Eternal Father, we thank you, God, for your goodness and mercy, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your many blessings, God. Thank you, bless God, amen, for this congregation, amen, who loves you, Lord. And it's indicative of their love, amen, as this, amen, particularly, amen, part of this particular service, this venue, oh, blessed God calls for, amen, to give, amen, their act, show acts of love in their giving, oh God. Bless them right now as they prepare to give an offering, oh blessed God, and give their tithe, oh blessed God. They don't give it to the church, but they give it unto you, oh God, amen, that they might receive of you the, the, the same, amen, in blessings and in return, oh blessed God, in, in terms of folds, not in percentages, but in terms of folds, oh God. Bless them, amen, uh, 60, 30 fold, 60 fold, 100 fold, oh blessed God, amen, that they might be, continue to be blessed, that they, amen, they may have things blessings for themselves and blessings for the kingdom and blessings for others, oh, blessed God. Help, oh, blessed God, amen, as they, amen, see, amen, the vision that you placed in them, the precepts, amen, the laws of thee, oh, blessed God, amen, that cause us, amen, to matriculate, to grow and to move, amen, in the kingdom. Bless right now, oh God, amen, as they, as they bring you off in God. Bless their homes and bless their family, oh God. Keep them, amen, by the power and we'll glorify and give you name to praise. All these other blessings, we ask your mighty name, Jesus, we pray, we say amen. 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 Thank you for your patience. Thanks for dealing with me. Follow the instructions of the ushers, please. Bless the musicians. God bless them. Amen. God bless them. Oh my God. Some love, please believe on the big L. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Jason, my God, where you at? Kyra and everybody. God bless you. God bless you. you, amen. And this time we're going to return to service, amen, in the hand of Pastor, Pastor, where you at, Pastor? Amen. Let's receive him, amen, by saying amen. Can we say amen again? We thank and praise God, amen, for the leadership of this, of this, uh, of this, of this place, amen, Pastor, amen, Palmer, and Sister Joyce, amen, amen, Sister Kanita, amen, everybody in their respective places, amen. Praise the Lord, God bless you, stay, keep running for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Don't give up hope. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. Come on, let's give it up for Pastor John Hunt. Truly, the Lord is in this place, and um, I have some announcements to make before we preach today. We're going to go to Exodus chapter number 13. Ah, is it Exodus or Numbers? I had to look at my notes. Numbers 13. But as we're way to number 13. First of all, I want to greet you all in the name of the Lord. And let me tell y'all something. The children, they can't leave until after offering. 
Parents, y'all start giving y'all children stuff to give, to sow. Let's teach our babies how to sow into the kingdom. Amen. It's a good practice to start very early. And I am convinced that if they start the habit early, they'll continue it throughout their lives. And they'll, they'll see the importance of tithing and offering. Amen. I want you all to be, uh, to, I want to thank you all as we were away last week for all of your uh, support, all of your embrace for uh, Bishop King coming in and praying, excuse me, preaching on last week, for Pastor Riddick um, coming in and doing some worship, praise and worship with us on last week. And so let's give it up for those men of God. (laughs) Also, I just want to just thank everybody for whatever you have done in terms of support when we weren't here on last week. I want to just send special shout out to you all. I don't know what happened every, I can't call every name, but what I can say is um, I appreciate you today. Amen. So let's go to Numbers 13. If you can find Numbers 13, we're going to start with verse 26, going down at verse 33. But before we do that, I got a couple of more things I need to say uh, by way of announcement. Um, I have an assignment for the National Day of Prayer, which is May 2nd at 12 p.m. over in St. Joe, Benton Harbor and St. Joe and Southwestern Michigan, parts of Southwestern Michigan are doing a combination. They're doing a combined National Day of Prayer and um, we wanna be a part of that, but they need help giving out literature. So I have uh, some advertisement cards that I want you to take and give. Help me. I want to put together a small team of young people to help spread the word about National Day of Prayer. We want to try to fill the band shell. It's going to be during the noon hour on your lunch from 12 to 1. We'll be done. So we're going to be out there praying. We need both sides, both Ben Harbor and St. Joe out there. And so for the Ben Harbor side, I do 